thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, today's report comes to, comes to us from uh, Yakima uh, County of Washington State, uh, 2018, report number 62332, Class Bravo. Story goes, a snowmobiler and his friend were riding up at about 10.30 in the morning in a wilderness area. No one had been in the area for the last couple of days just due to the amount of heavy snow. Uh, they could tell there were no other tracks in the area. <clears throat> uh, they just turned off the main road near a few hundred feet and they stopped at a bridge and crossing a stream. As soon as we took our helmets off, we heard a loud, hollow moan sound that lasted 8 to 10 seconds. We looked at each other in shock. Another howl followed by eight seconds behind, and then it, we heard a loud bang on a tree in the opposite direction. It was like a super loud woodpecker just pecked once. A few seconds after, we heard a large tree branch and break in the direction of the howl, and then heard a third howl. Two more loud woodpecker sounds that followed about five seconds in between. It sounds like they're being triangulated. The scream seemed like it was from a mile away, but the dense trees, it was much likely to be closer. The wood noise and the loud break sounded like they were within 50 yards or so. Then it was silent for about five minutes, and we decided to get ready to leave, and the howl started again. But it seemed like they were twice as far away. After about six more howls, five seconds in between we decided to leave the area neither of us have ever heard anything like it it seemed like it had been an amplifier like it had an amplifier and we're the only people within about an eight mile radius he did listen to Ohio how he said it was close but longer and more fluctuation uh, in some of the moans <clears throat> Yeah, uh, the follow-up investigator was by Kevin Levine. Uh, he talked to the witness by phone. Uh, he believes there were at least three Bigfoot as the house came from their right, the, the tree knocks from their left, and the loud crash of a branch break was from the front of them. The sound of the break made the witness think it was a very large branch. The witness has gone into the area with a snowmobile for years and has seen coyote, rabbits, grouse, and fox. I asked him why he thought Bigfoot may have been in the remote area with that much snow. He said there is a trout in the stream as another possible food source besides rabbit and grouse. The witness is also aware of caves in the area. After the first set of sounds, they started to have a snack, and the witness did two whoops during the five-minute pause, but there was no response. When the howls began again, they decided to leave, not go into the forest to look for tracks. They stopped the location for about 10 minutes. They did not detect any foul odor. <clears throat> Note, the location they stopped at is one and a half miles from the Yakima Indian Reservation. Interesting story today, guys. Um, we'll continue to keep these going. The... Uh, Continue the live um, broadcasts on Wednesdays. Uh, we actually had to change it up a little bit this week. I appreciate everyone's patience with that. Uh, we're still waiting for the other encounter to come through. Sometimes it can take time. Uh, the audio was a bit choppy, so uh, please bear with us on that. But again, hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, encounter today. If you do want an encounter, from your specific area, please leave a comment below as well. Um, appreciate everyone uh, that's participating, and you know, take a look at the description uh, for some of the gear we use. Uh, really appreciate that too. But everyone have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time. Right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link